Hey guys, what's going on? So I installed Linux Mint on my gaming computer and everything's been running great for the most part. Most of my Steam library has been running pretty well. The only issue that I've been having for the longest time is trying to get the Kingdom Hearts game sold through the Epic Games Store to work. So for this, I've been trying to use Heroic Games Launcher. I tried using Lutris and it was just too much of a hassle. And uh, I've heard of Legendary, which is basically, it, it's all done through like the CLI and haven't tried that. So the, the, this was my dilemma here. I would install the game. In this case, let's say it's Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. So I would install it and I would load it up. And I'll go ahead and wait for the game to load up before I continue. Okay, so we're at the game selection screen. And uh, let's say, for example, I want to run Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Go ahead and hit play. And then it would just boot me back to the game selection screen. And it's the same thing with all the other titles. They all, uh, will boot you back to the game selection screen, so I'm going to show you how I fixed it. Let me go ahead and exit out of here before I do that. So this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go into the game settings. Let's say it's 1.5, 2.5, and you're going to go to the other tab. And over here, you're, you're going to see the option select an alternative EXE to run. We'll go ahead and do that. And uh, you're going to want to point to where your games are installed. For me, it's on Games, Heroic, and uh, this will be 1.5, 2.5. Now, what you're going to want to do over here is, like, let's say, for example, you want to play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. You'll go ahead and select that, but if you want to play Kingdom Hearts 2, you want to go ahead and hit the Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix.exe. And it's the same thing with all the other games. But for this example, I'm going to be using the uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix EXE. Okay, so that's set up. One other thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that you have a Wine version selected. For me, I just used Proton Experimental, and that worked okay. I'll go ahead and minimize this for now. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to where you have your game installed through the file manager. So for me, it'll be games, heroic, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5. And you're gonna wanna go into that and you're gonna wanna rename the epic folder. And it'll be instead epic.bak. Now what this will do is it'll disable the pre-rendered cutscenes. The end game cutscenes will work just fine it's just that you won't be able to see the opening or the ending because for whatever reason it's borked on Linux. Like uh, if you try to view it without doing this, it'll end up giving you a black screen whenever it tries to load up the pre-rendered cutscene and it'll crash and crashing is not good. So once you've done that, we'll go ahead and minimize this, bring back the heroic games launcher. And uh, we'll go ahead and load up this and see what happens. So as you can see right now, we loaded up Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. I'll go ahead and start a new game. And as you can see, everything's working pretty much normally. Right now it's playing an in-game cutscene.
and the game is working pretty much okay right now. So this is pretty much going to be the end of the video. Uh, if this helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the, on the next video. Peace out.